Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree Wix YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to be dedicating uh, one of the ones that I actually showed in the t uh, another tutorial which is how to use hovers. So just like this. So yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and get started and I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on the list of different hovers that you can use. Yeah. So how's it going? Uh, so as you can see here, we've got our little hover bar here. So we're gonna go ahead and try to replicate this. So um, we'll actually just go to the editor on this one. Okay. So as you can see, it uses a container box and alongside uh, are some vector art. So I'll just find a space here somewhere. I might actually add a page menu, okay. Okay. So we'll add that page and we'll not do anything there, okay. Have enough. Okay, so uh, firstly, what we're gonna use is a container box, right, like so. And we're gonna go ahead and click on this one. Uh, now, it might not be transparent for you, so the way you could change that is you, you just click on design, customize design, and fill color and opacity. And as you can see here, this is actually originally colored blue, but we can just put, bring that down to 0%, and that'll make sure that we have a nice clear opaque container box now uh, as we've seen from that other vector art we did see some more boxes so we'll go ahead and drag and drop some and as you can see there's one there we'll actually just expand that a little bit more so we've got some more room to work with bring this down Bring this down as well, okay. So I can copy and paste that into this. So copy that and then paste. It's gonna let me. All right, so there's that. And of course there was an image to that. So we'll go ahead and get an image and it doesn't really matter what one for now we'll just go ahead and click on one and we'll just try to mimic the sizing of this towards that so that one's at 600 so we shall also do 600 and this one is at 387 so we'll also make this 387 and then we'll apply the same principle to this 387 perfect Okay, just like that. Now you might be wondering, oh, how am I going, now that everything is in place, how will I change colors? How will I bring this to the front? Uh, well, it's pretty easy. So using this toolbar here, we could just go ahead and send this to the back. And on top of that, we'll go ahead and change the design color. Go ahead and fill that color and we'll make it something cool like yellow. All right, so as you can see, it's at the back. Now we'll go to this one. And instead of sending it all the way to the back, as you can see, it'll send it all the way to the back. And we don't want that. We just want to bring it back once, as you can see. And we'll change the color on that one for that blue, okay. Now we want to maybe give it some depth. So you could leave it like this if you want to, if you want to add border as well to it. So we'll just drag that down a little bit more. So if you want to add some border to this design, bring this down as well. Um, you could just click on that image or that vector art, click on the design and you can 
change the corners up as well if you don't want to be uh, uh, if you don't want it to be too edgy you can smooth it or as we're doing here we're going to go ahead and pick a darker color and put some width onto that and then i want to do the same to this one at the back if i can get it clicked okay we'll actually just send this one to the back just so we can equip the other one there okay it really doesn't want us to okay there we go it could be a little bit tricky sometimes to get that so we'll go ahead and change this design then we'll go to customize design we'll go to border same thing again that's already black we'll go ahead and hit on three make sure that is black okay perfect and we'll just align this to where it was previously okay and then we'll bring that to the front We'll bring this one to the back once. Okay, it's just not let it's just not wanting me to move this, is it? Okay, we'll just delete it. Try again. There we go. Perfect, okay. And we'll just give that one uh, some border as well. So we'll go to design, customize menu. Okay, and we'll make sure it's nice and dark with a PX of three. And we'll make sure as well, make sure you go in a hover and make sure that's at 0% because you don't want to roll over or not. Okay, so if we look at it, of course, nothing will happen because there's no hover interaction on this. So we'll go ahead and go back to editor. And we will click on this. And we'll actually get rid of that edginess as well, or the soft border. Okay, yep, happy enough. Okay, so now we'll make sure you click on your container, as you can see in the background. That's our container here. Okay. And once you've clicked on that, there's a little interaction, hover interaction on the top. And this is what we're after. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And as you can see here, just click on get started. So it'll give you this uh, opaque screen. And then once you do that, all you need to do is adjust so you could choose an effect i'm happy enough with that to stay the same so again go on this then ha add an, a hover interaction on that and then just say you want that to go up like this to where that is and then you can see a preview of it okay i'm happy enough with that so we just click away from this and then for that one as well add a hover interaction on that as well and have that one going up like that so if you play it as you can see so you can exit hover mode and now once we go to preview and we hover over it Okay, so now we need to just fix that up a little bit as well. Okay, so we'll edit that interaction. Okay. 
Okay, we'll try to see if we can solve this issue here with this hover interaction. Go ahead and group these elements. Okay. Uh, one second, guys, and I'll be with you in a wee minute. Okay, folks, sorry, I've made a silly, silly error there. Make sure that you use uh, vector images and not the ones that I use. So I use like a container. So I want to make sure you use this instead. Let's see if we can just try to expand this out. Quickly try to do this again. Okay, so do this. Okay, and then we'll just adjust it to that. So 600 by 387. Okay, and then we'll drag it in. Okay, copy and paste. And we'll do that as 387 as well, 387. All right, happy enough with that. Okay, okay, so we'll just quickly run through this. So, and one second folks, I'll get this all done. Okay, I got the colors all in. And I wanna just make sure that I move these all to the back. So like that and like that. Okay, now you click on this and you click on hover interaction. We'll remove that for the meantime and then we'll get started again. So as you can see, I've clicked on the boxes behind and I want to adjust that. So in order to get this right, I'm just gonna move that forward just so I can adjust it. And I want it to adjust it like that. Okay, so I'm happy enough with that. We'll send that to the back. And then for this one, I want to send that to the front here again and adjust this up like that. Okay, so now once we combine everything together and play it, as you can see, everything works really nice. So last thing to do is just to adjust everything back, which is my, my container here. Okay, apologies folks for giving you misleading information there, but this is the right one. So uh, there you go, once you hover it, it should be like that. Now you could do different designs. It doesn't have to be specifically the one that we've created today. Of course you get, um, if this is, just a tad too advanced. You can just choose the regular ones as well, just so it's less effort. You could choose the effects, as you could see. You could do the grill one, and if you play that, that looks equally as good. And then you've got the shrink. You've even got ones that screw as well, a rotate. And you can do some combinations as well, if you wanted to. So there you go. So yeah, um, hopefully this YouTube tutorial helped. And if you guys have any questions regarding the video, just leave them down in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much.